Well, I mean, let, let's keep this thing rolling. So you got Foreman at, at 98 down here. We said that we thought that these these uh, ADPs would, would swap and oh, continue in opposite flip-flop. directions. They're, they're definitely flip-flopping. You know, if Lamar Miller gets cut and goes somewhere else, I mean, you know, maybe maybe his stable's out a little bit. Um, but so so Foreman at 98, it's, you guys cool with Foreman at 98? You like him coming back off the Achilles? You want, you know, they're, they're, everyone wants him to be the lead dog. Like this, if he's the lead dog, and I want a piece of this Texans offense absolutely. is really is really what I'm angling just for Just about here. to say that, and you really kind of just paired that up so nicely with if he's a lead dog, Texans offense with Deshaun Watson. If Deshaun Watson comes back and he looks like he did last year and Dante Foreman comes back and he's healthy, you want Devon. You want Foreman on your team. Foreman is a great gamble. At, at the ninety-eight here, that's what in the ninth round, uh, tenth round, a late ninth. I mean, that's 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 a that's a good gamble. That's a solid gamble. But you're talking about a guy that just ruptured his Achilles. Yeah. You, you know, you gotta you gotta really kind of water tough. down your expectations early in the season. Now, if you have a startup past spring workouts or pass I mean, at least get into some mini camps and foreman's out there on the field and they say he looks good and you can't tell it happened they're saying he's on schedule you better pick up foreman they're saying he's on schedule but the achilles like your burst and that's part of what he relies that's, on that's right. part of the be- that's part of the good that's the best part of his game is his explosion his long speed so why not what you got a really again back then, to this point you got a really good offense and a decent and a pretty good defense the defense has been your backbone your offense is evolving bill o'brien did a great job of rescheming this entire offense mid-season overnight to, to, to do what Deshaun Shame Watson on him for does. not having that done all preseason and offseason. Very whatever. true. Very oh, true. We said that last year ten yep. times. But you trade that in the first half. Why would you, you not? Him in the why first would half. you not want a guy like Lamar Miller anchoring your team for even if it's the first four games? Just ease Foreman back in. Exactly. If you really want him to be your lead dog, why are you going to put him out there with and, and yeah. risk anything? Sure. Like let him point. let him let him come back. Yeah. Spend Foreman's the five got, million and get this consistent year out of Lamar. You want to cut Miller. Lamar next year? Cut him next year. Foreman's two hundred thirty five pounds, Bo. You yeah. need to give that Achilles. I don't just think a he's second. quite that. Oh, Foreman, right? Foreman. Uh, there, there's Foreman. some stats that say Lamar Miller's that big, but no, he definitely ain't that big. No, he's not that big. But he is. Fair, he's bigger than I thought he was. He's listed at two eighteen here on on. So, yeah, are you guys in it on four minute ninety eight? Yeah, but I'll tell you this: if if you if you draft before you figure out if Lamar Miller's on the team or not, they could be splitting carries, and you don't be really excited about any of them in your starting lineup. Well, I mean, you're drafting him at 98 again with with the hopes that he's, he's 21 years old, right? And he's going to be the guy. Sure. And people yeah. want to. People I, just like the new shiny object, oh, and, and yeah. Lamar Miller has been, you know, not this awesome player. So there's no chance that he's good, and I don't want him on my team. Mm-hmm. Lamar's still only 26. If he has a great year, I don't see why they wouldn't fill that whole thing up again. It's possible he's there for two two more years. I uh, maybe he, not. And Lamar but like, leaves, and he's he's gonna go somewhere else, and right. probably be just fine. Lamar's I'm, a good running back. I'm man. all in on Lamar. Ninety three, ninety eight for a dude coming off of Achilles tear. It's that. That's that's a little tough. There's all these great rookies coming in, and everyone's like, "Oh, you you know, there's going to be a, rookies. There's going to be running backs everywhere." And it's like, all these rookies could suck. Every single one of them coming in here could be like you obviously Saquon and and you know you got a couple of guys who you're like they're probably not going to suck but like <laughs> probably going to th- be pretty awesome. There's a, there's a, <laughs> Some of nobody them. knows if any of these guys are going to be good. Like it's just it happens, you know? Oh yeah, it happens. I I think uh at 98 here, I think I might have to take the guy that's at 96 over him. Let's go ahead and take a break. Let's wrap this Texans talk up and we'll 96. come back. We'll get into some oh, Marlon Mack. That's what they call a tease. In the after industry. Jay Wayne just went with the tease. After you can't the break, take Marlon Mack over Foreman. We'll see. Hmm. 